Well, folks, it's Philip from Pacific Coast Yacht Sales once again. We're looking at a 30 foot Tolly Craft sedan version long cabin, 1983. This is probably the largest 30 foot boat you could possibly buy. It has a dance floor like superstructure up on top, tons of room inside. Super comfy boat. Fussy owner, this one is. I've sold a number of boats for him and to him. It's time for him to move on from this boat. He's gone through all the systems, everything is now working. Tickety boo the port engines just been replaced a new long block uh, Engine in on the port engine the starboard engine was done uh, complete rebuild about three four years ago It has two new fuel tanks in it as well. And we're doing an outside video for you again It's Philip from Pacific Coast Yacht Sales 27 years in business. We're bonded and licensed in Washington State and we're certified brokers in British Columbia Rockner 15 anchor with a I believe it's all chain winch um, controls up at the front here and control up on the bow as well. The boat was just out of the water. Two coats of fresh bottom paint, all new zincs. It was just done October 2022. The boat is ready to go. It'll be ready for all next season. You can put your own touches over the winter months. Nice boat. New blue stripe along the bottom and new blue stripe along the top for you as well. It's a 1983. It's an older boat, but it's in great shape. The owner's kept it in a really nice condition with lots of nice upgrades on it. You have the smart plug in the back, helps reduce the cost of insurance, those smart plugs do. Gives a positive terminal for the 110 shore power. It has shore power, it has batteries. It's a 1983, a little quick tip here on the serial number, the last two digits here, not the 83 here, but these ones here, as you can see in my fingernail, the 83 refers to the year that the boat was the year the boat was built in. So it's a 1983 model, it's a 30 foot tolly, long cabin version of this boat. Transom door for easy access on and off. A little bit of flaking on the bay back deck here, it's, uh, it's only cosmetic. And we're gonna go up onto the bridge. It has a Rolly Kesker dinghy davit system with a, a winch, it's super easy to put the dinghy on and off. It has a 9.8 Tahatsu two-stroke engine on it for quick planing with an aluminum rib bottom on it. It's an Aqua Pro model. Not sure what the year is, but it's in great shape sitting on the back of the back of this boat. It has never lost any of the air the owner has claimed. So let's take a quick look up on top and then we'll do a separate video for the inside of the boat. So here we are up on the top of the bridge here. You can see there's lots of room for all your crab traps, toys, lawn chairs, and whatever else you want to have. Dinghies, inflatable dinghies, paddle boards, and more chairs. Again, we're, uh, it's got newer seats up top. You'll see that in the photos. And on the dash here, it, the gauges are all nice and clear and they're in good shape. Let me just open this up for you so you can see. I want you to see what I'm seeing. That's the beauty about these videos. I'm one of the few brokers that consistently does a walkthrough video, startup video, uh, outside video of the boats that we're selling so you can see what they're all about. So you can see the gauges are all in nice shape up here. Again on the port side there and then the anchor windlass switch there too. Good visibility from this boat. You're right, right forward in it. It's a, it cruises comfortably at 14, 16 knots, burning about a total of four gallons per side the owner has claimed we will be taking it out for a sea trial with him and doing a sea trial video so that is outside video for a 30 foot tolly craft it's in 1983 it's in beautiful shape it's here at the royal vancouver yacht club at jericho the moorage is not assumable please do not ask i will put that in our spec sheet that you cannot assume this moorage at all so again thanks for watching